Hello traders and welcome back to another YouTube video. I know it's been a while since my last one, but I'm going to be start, I'm going to start to post way more videos going forward. Just everything to do with my trading and the trades I've been taking. So this video we're going to be getting into is a trade breakdown on EURUSD. And today I made $3,700 trading EURUSD. It was a short and we're just going to get into the breakdown now. So starting on the daily time frame. The daily swing structure is bearish. Our internal structure is bearish as well. So our internal and our swing structure is aligned. Our small internal is bullish. We are playing that swing pullback after this breaker structure. After a breaker structure, we anticipate a pullback, which is what, what is happening at the moment. We've mitigated this daily supply here and we've started to push down. So now that our swing and internal is aligned, demand here is holding, but due to where we are, you know, price is going to start to push down even further and possibly taking out this daily weak swing low. But the key factor in this trade that today was that we've just mitigated this daily supply and we're pushing down into this daily demand. But because of the internal and the swing structures aligned, we're more likely to be pushing down from here. That's the daily time frame. Let's move into the four hour time frame. So the four hour swing structure is bullish and that's to play and facilitate that daily internal pullback. And our four hour internal structure is bearish and that's to facilitate the four hour pullback. So our internal is bearish. And like I said, on the day time frame, we've come from this daily supply here so a lot of bearish pressure and we got this um internal breaker structure here and i was looking to trade this is much of the trade here it was at this four hour supply i marked the four hour change of character here because if price comes up and we get a change of character and this poi is does fail that lets me know that we're probably gonna be pushing higher so it's we're gonna start looking for buys but I was happy to take a trade here just because it was a HP high probability supply. So this is where I was taking a trade. But I did I took the trade on the one hour time frame, but using the M15 as my entry time frame. My I used the one hour to refine my POI in this four hour supply here. So let's move on to the one hour. So the one hour refined supply in the four hour is the same size. So it's not really that much refined, but as price pulled up into this POI, I, as soon as the price mitigated this area, I dropped down to my M15, um, which is my, which is my entry time frame to wait for my liquidity entry model. So price pushed up into this area here and I caught this move right here. So. Once price, say what we'll do a replay for this. So so as price, this would been the, been the first mitigation candle right here, and what I'm waiting for is. Um, price to create a change of character and then the higher that created that change of character needs to be swept and then we enter on the liquidation candle so that's what i was waiting for so in this moment in time right here this is our highest candle as price moves higher up you go from the highest candle where the change of character would be so our so starting from this candle here is where our first mitigation was in the session, I know it mitigated over here, but that's not, it wasn't in the session I was trading, that was on Tuesday. So, and that was out of my hours then, so I wasn't looking to trade there. But here was the first candle. And at this moment of time when the candle was here, our change of character would have been down here. This candle right here. That would have been our change of character. But then price, Pushed higher, you see that candle is now higher than that one. Our change of character now changes, and our change of character is here. So we keep going from the 
as price if, if if we then get change character here then the high would be liquidity sweep and then we could get into the trade but let's continue price so i was waiting for a change character here first so then i got that change of character Is it? There's a change character. So then I was waiting for the high that caused the change of character. It's going to be our liquidity, our liquidity entry entry area. So as soon as price sweeps this, we can enter on the liquidation candle. So all I was waiting for is that to be swept. So there was the liquidity sweep. And then once this candle closes, so once the candle now closes, my entry would be on the liquidation candle, the full candle. So that's where. And then, and then after, so if price pushes down and tags us in, then we leave the trade to run. We either leave it to, hit take profit or stop loss but let's just say price doesn't tag us in now and then it pushes up higher you then wait for that candle to close after 15 minutes and then you enter on the new candle and you do that until this poi fails so if the poi fails then we don't trade anymore but luckily that didn't happen um did get tagged in and that was the trade so that was the trade i took today um these trades and well the pre-session analysis and Stuff like that is given at the start of the day in my Discord group. It is a um, paid group. So if you want to get involved in the group, then just click the link in the description of this bio to get involved yourself. If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe on this channel to stay up to date with any of my latest videos. And yeah, cheers guys. I'll see you in the next one.